In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to do every single SPC in FC24 without spending FIFA points and basically learning to grind the game. You see that we've done quite a lot of expensive SPCs and they are still a load more to go. Now, of course, you're going to want to pick and choose which ones you really want to do, like the kits, we're not going to bother. The team of the week player picks, we won't bother either, but it's still an option for you to do. As of recording, we have this Centurion's crafting upgrade. It was a brand new objective. We also have a Prime's bronze players upgrade. So I'm going to go through every single step that I do to set myself up throughout the week. Now, like I said, this video is probably going to be about half an hour long, so I understand if you want to skip certain parts. I will try and timestamp things, but we are going to start off with bronze pack method. We're going to open up five bronze packs and we're going to show you how to start off. Now, I've done how to do bronze pack method and why it's so efficient. And this is the basically the first initial step to be able to complete any SBC. So with the bronze pack, I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown. We are checking to see if any of the cards are worth any coins. If they are not, we are going to store them all into our club and discard everything else you see on the screen here. Apart from manager contracts, they do actually sell for 200 coins. So if you have any manager contracts, sell them. The player contracts, unfortunately, don't sell. So right there's another one, and then we got ourselves a player one here. So this pack in particular, we only spent about 400 coins, maybe a little bit more, and got ourselves three players back, which would have cost us 350. So we kind of broke even on that pack if you look at it like that. Now, the beautiful thing about bronze pack method is that you can basically do this and make coins as you go through. So again, I'm discarding everything that I don't need. Checking we don't have a manager contract. Listen up the manager contract. Discarding all of these things. If we get a duplicate player, I'll show you what to do with those in a second. Always check your managers in case and we'll check any of these players. I'll be very surprised if I didn't go for anything. So this Barcelona player looks like he's going to go for a few hundred coins, I suggest here. So we're just checking his price, 750. So again, there we go. This pack here we've actually made a profit on and we've got a duplicate player. So the first two packs in, we've actually broken even. So we've not lost any coins, we've not made any. And we've opened up two bronze packs and we've got X amount of players into our club to start the grind. With three more packs to go or two more after this one here, we're going to check again, discard everything here. These are all player contracts. Always double check. Yep, and then we're going to go through every single one of these. So we're going to keep this guy. This guy isn't worth anything either. Sudamericana isn't worth anything. And the rare striker is nothing either. So we've got four players there. We didn't make any profit on this pack. You're not looking to make profit, but essentially build your club up. Two more bronze packs to go, and then we can start the grind as we were. Skipping it all the time. There is a chance of packing special cards in bronze packs if their base card is that. So, for example, we had a team of the week. And his original card was a bronze. You can get that team of the week in a bronze pack. Of course, your pack luck has to be very, very good. But it is possible. And it is a nice way to make coins. So I like to keep all my managers because you never know what league is going to come out with an objective that we need to boost. So, so far, we've got a load of players in. And now we're on to our last bronze pack for this video in particular. I will link how to do bronze pack method in the, the comment section down below. And you can check that out for yourself. And we've got ourselves, again, one, two, a manager contract that can go. Discard everything else. Double check. Nothing here. Keep the manager unless he's worth a load of coins. This guy doesn't go for anything. This guy doesn't go for anything. And I'm pretty sure this one doesn't either. Fantastic. So once you've done, I like to do 10,000 coins of bronze packs. Once you've done that, we can now officially move over to step number two. Step number two is going to be, if you've got this prime bronze player upgrade, do that. If you don't, don't worry. I'll also show you what to do next. Now, you can see I've already completed it for the video. We are using players that we just packed, nothing in particular. That's going to give us a prime bronze players pack back. Now, it is possible to get players in these bronze packs that are worth X amount of coins because of, for example... The evolutions that came out and they give you a lot of coins so starting off with this one here we're going to skip it so so far we've technically opened six bronze packs this one from the objective now why i like this one because it gives you a lot of rares and when we do get ourselves a new evolution for example a new season starts on the first day of the week of recording today's tuesday we should get something that needs bronze again i'd like to hope and that's going to push the prices up so i'm just checking all their prices again if cards sell for 600 coins that's when i typically um sell them so we've got a level player here now, he could go for a lot of coins if we need to evolution him in the future. And we've got a duplicate here that we'll send up. So now that we have got a load of bronze players, you should have quite a lot 
once you've done bronze pack method or opened up 10,000 coins worth of bronzes. Your first step is to go over to icons and complete every single one of these in terms of bronze rares and silver rares. So this needs 11 bronze rares. This needs 11 silver rares. These give you packs back. They're not the best packs back, but they give you something back. To get the bronze rares from the packs is going to help you out massively in terms of bronze pack. Then all of your bronze commons are going to go into this SPC. So for example, we're going to go to our thing. We're going to go to most recent and we're going to set it to bronze common. And that's just going to give us all the bronze cards that we have to go in. Now I like to put in players that are in off leagues. If you don't know what off leagues are, we get league SPCs in the next couple months. So I like to stop my club up. League SPCs are tend to be like MLS, Championship. Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, and sometimes we get an occasional Chinese League or Saudi League. But anybody else we don't get, for example, the Korean League, the, the Denmark League, German League 2, German League 3, all those ones, you can use them for these upgrades. Now, you want to completely empty your club out of Bronze Commons once you've done this. The main reason being, as I hit my mic by accident there, is because... When you do bronze pack method, you want to put in all of the bronzes that I've mentioned that are off league, the commons into this, the rares into the icon. This is going to give you an abundance of silver players. Always one rare and one common. Now, this guy's got some good pace. You could potentially argue and keep him for the league SPCs that come out or anything like that. Unfortunately, Serie A, two or four Serie A. You can, or Serie B, sorry, or even that, you can keep them for evolutions. Or if you don't care about that, you basically want to grind as many of those as you can. So for the video's sake, I'm just going to go and make another five of these and I'll be right back. So we are making our last one, but I wanted to show you a trick to build them quicker. So if you go to Squad Builder like I did, select Bronze, click in your left analog stick. It will bring up this menu. You're then going to want to go to Low to High Rating. Press A or X and then press Triangle or Y. It's going to build the squad already. Doesn't make it perfect. For example, here we've got one rare in. So I'm going to swap them for every single off league that I've mentioned. So again, Eredivisie can come out. The Premier League can come out. And you want to do that and go through every single one. And make sure you're not putting in players that are basically from leagues that we need. But it is much quicker like that. We've completed. And that is going to be five of the bronze upgrades done. Which is a total of 55 bronze commons that we've used. Now that is going to give us in return 10 silvers. It doesn't sound fantastic but that is a very good progress. Five rare and five common. Now, these can be Libertadores or Sudamericanas. If you don't know what they are, don't worry, I will show you. And we're basically just going to open up all five of these and store everything into our club, and then we can proceed on to the next step. This is essentially how I grind the game. I usually do Bronze Pack Method twice a week, so like for one hour or 10,000 coins. So, for example, I'll show you in a second how to get coins. I get X amount of coins from one objective or one thing to do. And with those coins, I just solely put them into bronze packs. So we get 10,000 coins twice, so 20,000 coins altogether in two days for bronze pack method to store our club up and do this grind every single time. Now, don't get me wrong, it becomes a little bit vanilla, a little bit boring after a while, but it is essential for not having to spend money or coins. And when I say money, I mean real money or coins in the game to complete SPCs, what EA want you to do. So once we've opened all five of those packs, you've seen there, we've got some good cards. We've got some uh, other things like that. We can now go to our next step. So again, going back to SBCs, we'd go to our icons. All of our rares would go into any of these icon SBCs into the silver rare. That's going to give us three gold common players back. Once you've put all your rares into that, you can then put your rares and commons into this silver upgrade that gives us a three gold players pack back as well, which are commons. And again, we are going to go and put in all of our silver common off league. So let me just go and do that ever so quickly. And our last player has put in. So as you can see here, we've got ourselves three gold commons. Now, these three gold commons are absolutely most important in this grind. And the reason is because of these commons that we get, we can do upgrades every Monday, UK time at 6 p.m. We get upgrades, which are normally what we got today is the crafting one. But essentially, it's normally like an 80 plus upgrade or a player pick upgrade. But you always need golds. And this is the best way to get them without spending coins. Now, there are several things you could do beforehand in terms of trading and making investments that way. But this is the most efficient way I found to do it. So with that pack, we've got ourselves the three gold commons. Now, this is a brand new upgrade, the Centurion's Crafting Upgrade, as you can see on the screen. Now, this isn't typically here. If it's not here, we would have something like this gold upgrade, which gives you two rare golds back. 
Or we'd have upgrades out, like I just said, on Monday, which would be player picks or an 80 plus upgrade, etc. But for this video's sake, we are going to do the Centurion's crafting upgrade. But normally we would go and do this gold upgrade if there wasn't any other SPCs out to complete. So with this, we need to have 11 gold cards. They don't have to be rare. They can be common. They can be Libertadores and they can be Sudamericana. So you can see here, I've only got three gold commons in my club, which we've just got from doing that SPC once. And now we need to do that another three times to be able to complete this SPC. But for the video, I'm just going to check if I have any Libertadores that are high rated. We've got a few here. That's fantastic. Now with these Libertadores, to put them into count, they actually count as rare cards, but they need to be 75 rated or higher to count as a gold. Any lower than that, they go into silver and and into bronze rating and the same for Sudamericana but unfortunately I don't have any golds so right now we are four cards short and the best way to get those cards is by going back and doing the silver upgrade so I'm going to go and complete that twice now with the things we have in our club and now the last card has been put in. We have put some rares in, as mentioned, because we have got them from doing the upgrades over and over and over again. So we got ourselves in a really good position again. So we're going to open up these two packs. That's going to give us six gold commons back. That is going to be enough to complete the first one of Centurions. Now, of course, this video is only going to be one of them. We're not going to do loads and loads and loads. I've already done a video on that on the channel. If you want to check that out, it is going to be in the comment section down below as well. But this is essentially how I do the upgrades every single week and not waste coins and not basically basically spend any money to do it but you want to do this step like I say every single well twice a week essentially 10,000 coins and like I say I will show you how to get those coins in a minute so we have now opened up those packs of course we didn't get anything too crazy in them but now we should have enough gold commons to complete the last four players that we need for this and not only that we get objectives done at the same time towards the milestone of this so here we go then and then on top of that, we've got two extra commons that we can continue to go back round again when the next one comes out. So once we've completed that, that's going to give us three rare gold players, which we can also put into the same SBC if we want to, if the rating isn't high enough. Now, if we get an 84 or anything higher than that, we can then put that into a different SBC that we want. But essentially, these are the final steps of the upgrades to get high rated cards. We get ourselves a Brazilian, goalkeeper. So we get ourselves an Allison. This is a fantastic uh, example who is going to be around, I think, 89 rated. So you can see here, you can get high rated cards from it. Not only that, we get ourselves an 83 that we can use for a future SBC and a 78 rated card. Funny enough, Allison is actually going to go into my team because I have got Ramsdale in my team at the moment and I actually needed a better keeper. So you can see here, my team, I've got all of these players from doing the grind. They have not spent any money on them in terms of FIFA points. We bought Malassia because I had to do a review on him because it's my job sort of thing. But all the other players we've got from just basically doing the SBC grind. You can see first owners on almost every single card. Even on Origi, we got first owner. And we've also got a bench. We've got a few loans here, but nothing crazy. The Icon SBC has also been complete. So this is kind of like the proof of it, if you like. Now, to get yourself enough coins, this is going to be either the hit or miss for you in the video. But you want to go over to Squad Battles. And I found a way that you only have to play about 22 games max. And you get yourself Elite 1. Now, why Elite 1 is so important, if you can get it, if you can't, don't worry. Is because we get 250k packs, we're just going to pretend we don't get those. We get the 22,000 coins. Now, we just went mentioned earlier, 10,000 coins goes into Bronze Pack Method. If you get Elite 1 every week, you will then get yourself 22,000 coins. That's two days worth of doing Bronze Packs without even making any coins off that. Let's say you struggle and you can't get Elite 1, even if you were to get elite three you get yourself 12,000 which is enough to do bronze pack method once a week plus if you manage to get anything else in these packs that help you sell and get more coins is another opportunity elite three is pretty simple to get it isn't the most difficult but i have done the best way to get max points in squad battles which i will show you in the comment section down below in that video i won't do squad battles today but essentially what you want to do in a short breakdown is go to world class Win by five goals, so five nil if you can. Don't let the opponent score. Get 10 shots on target, five corners, and over 100 passes complete with the five nil. You get 2,000 points. Now, you get 2,000 points every single time. Of course, I didn't do that here. I was trying to do some more objective. But 2,000 points every time is going to be 2, 4, 6, 8,000. 
8 times 4 is going to be, what, 32,000. So 4, 8, 12, 16 games is going to be 32,000. To get Elite 1, you need to have 45. So it's going to be another two sets of games. As you can see here, if I move my camera out the way slightly, we've had 25,000 points just underneath the screen here with 13 games played at 32. So... We've only played 13 games. We've got 25,000 points. Another 20,000 points. And we've got Elite 1, which is only going to take us about eight games. Bearing in mind, it's four-minute halves. Four games takes you about 32 minutes overall. So very, very quick on that. This helps me massively to do Bronze Pack Method because I don't make a loss. Another thing I highly recommend doing if you're not is don't sleep on these moments. At this minute in time, we've got about 30 tokens. These do transfer over to the new season. Now, I've opened up all the packs that I wanted to. These packs are tradable. They are really worth doing if you need things in your club about spending coins. And like I said, we've got ourselves around 30 moments spare at the moment, which is going to help us out massively when they roll over into the new season to get extra packs. Now, of course, you could argue with rivals, you get extra coins from that as well. So you want to get eight wins. I'm in the elite division. I don't expect you guys to be there. You, you were where you are. But even if you were to get the seven wins, the one reward I always take is option three, I believe it is. Or is it option two? It's option one even, sorry. Where you get untradable packs, but you also get X amount of coins. So I get 45,000 coins a week from this. Plus 22,000 coins a week from squad battles. That is then 67,000 coins at minimum from that. Let's say you are around a Division 5 player. You still want to take the coin. So let's say you're at the first step of Division 5. In this, you get yourself, we get to option 1. Untradable packs again. And you get 17,000 coins. So let's say you're Division 5 and you get Elite 3 in squad battles, that's already over twelve or 20,000 coins to do Bronze Pack Method. And you don't have to spend hours doing Bronze Pack Method. It's literally the 10,000 coins. Now, if you're good at champs, and you get yourself into foot champs as well, and you manage to get yourself high up in the ranking, let's say you get rank 5, which I think is 11 wins, that's still going to give you 30,000 coins on top of that, as well as a load of packs. I'm quite fortunate where I get rank 2, rank 3, or rank 1, depending on how the week goes, but let's say rank 3 for argument's sake. I get myself 100 or 85,000 coins plus the 45,000 coins from rivals. That's going to give us 130,000 coins, I believe, plus the 22,000 coins from squad battles. That's 152,000 coins a week. You times that by four, we're looking at 650,000 coins more or less a month. And, that, and that's not even including in packs. That's not including anything you get from packs. Of course, you have to be good at champs to get that. I understand that. But let's just completely erase foot champs from that and you just do squad battles and you just do rivals division five and elite three is very very achievable especially if you watch the video that i mentioned to get more points that's going to give you enough coins every week to do bronze pack method and then bronze pack method goes back into these sbcs that i've mentioned now you are looking to get as many high rated cards as you can from doing this some weeks you're going to have better luck than other weeks I'd like for example i do like 100 to 50 upgrades every single week i do them as videos i tend to get absolutely nothing from them and I keep doing them off camera as well. I don't always record everything I do. But from these three alone, that should help you on your way. Now, it is a grind. Don't get me wrong. It is an absolute humongous task to do that. And you do kind of have to pick and choose your SBCs that you want to do. For example, you could use Odengard. I'm an Arsenal fan. I will get Odengard done. But we have got ourselves a Perlo who's practically the same card. You see 80 pays, 83, 95, 91. 80, 86, 92, 91. So they're very similar. And that's 70 and 71, 70 and 69. Five star, two star, I think he is. So three star, five star, four star. They both play a similar position. EA is just trying to trick you into wasting fodder and buying packs. The same for this Marta. Now, if you're a fan of her and she's your favorite player, then by all means, complete her. But there are things on the market that you can do that you don't need. So you don't really want to do those ones. The team of the week player picks only there if you need team of the weeks. If not, just pretend it's not there. It's not worth your time. Julian Alvarez is super expensive. Again, if you like the player and you're a Man City fan, complete him. It's the same for Rodrigo that came out. Xavi Simons, in my opinion, is not worth it for an 84. All he needs is one team of the week. It's going to be the same rated card. It's the same thing that happened to Kubo player of the month. He's in Trailblazers with an 85. The exact same card, but the Trailblazers is actually technically better. So you would have lost fodder on that. Okay, he's not mad expensive, but still. Mudrick's an interesting one. 
Fourth is the same thing. You can get a card from Evolutions. It's the same. Raphael Liao only got a plus one and he had a better card in packs. Azpaz is, again, a similar thing. So you can see here, you're kind of picking and choosing what you want to do. I don't do any of the foundations because we get a load of them for free in objectives. But I do like to complete the Casino SPCs with the Max 87 Hero. And you can see here, we've done Somair because she's so cheap. It'd be silly not to. The Challenge SPCs we did. Trap I did for the same reason. Kulaveski because I got a lot of duplicates. So when you start doing the grind a lot and you get into a consistent routine of it, you're going to get a lot of 84s, a lot of uh, like 85s, 86s. That are duplicates that you can't discard or can't sell. Put them into stuff like this. The same for Santiago Jimenez, player of the month. Very, very cheap, so I did it. Human Song is a card that I wanted. It was cheap at the time, but as I went through completing him, he got more and more expensive. But Son's one of those players that's like a must-have. And I got him done literally from doing the grind that I've just showed you. Garaski's the same. Bolker's the same. They're very, very cheap. Just got them done. And then Laurent Blanc is another one that I desperately wanted to get into the club. Took me a little bit of time, but again, he's still there for 38 days. And the same for Son's there for another two weeks. So if you're doing this method just now, you still have time to grind these SBCs, don't worry. And then we had all of our foundation ones that you should be doing at the start. Anyway, like always, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you want to know how to do the bronze pack method more efficiently, there will be a link in the comment section. If you want to learn how to get max squad battle points or the best way to get the most points possible in less games, that video will also be in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I kind of hope this has helped you guys in a sense of how to grind. It seems like a massive, massive effort. And don't get me wrong, it is a little bit difficult to do once you don't know how to do it. But once you learn, it just goes automatically. For example, Squad Battle Rewards is on a Sunday morning, 22,000 coins into my account. The first thing I do is just open up 10,000 coins of bronze packs on a Sunday. Then we get Rival Rewards on the Thursday morning, another 10,000 coins of bronze pack into that. And then that's it done for the week. All of them, any duplicates I get go into the upgrades. I do the upgrades over Saturday because on Monday we get the actual player picks and the stuff that I want to do. And then every video I do on how to grind is because I've done that beforehand. And it's really, really easy. Like 10,000 coins worth of bronze packs could probably take you 20 minutes max, if that. So you think 40 minutes in an entire week to get yourself set up for any SPC that comes in the future is worth it in my time. Or you could just go to the FIFA store or FC store and buy points and buy packs that way. But let me know which one you're going to do. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll catch you in the next video.